Hey, peeps, we are live. Hello, Mitch Hightower coming to you from San Francisco, California on a Sunday evening. Woo -woo. Thank you so much for coming to check out our special Sunday night live stream. Now, I say our, that's because I'm including Philip in that mix, even though he is not in his chair right now. Philip is actually in his office doing some work, but he will be joining us before this live stream ends because I'm quite sure he's going to want to see the candy haul that I heard and had delivered to the front door. Just as much as I hope you are looking forward to seeing the candy haul in this great big box from Target. I see Terry's here from Madwood Barbecue. Hey, Terry. Great to see you this evening. Thank you so much for coming to check out our live stream. We sure do appreciate it. So uh, I also see that Robin's Buys and DIYs is in the house. Hi, Robin. Good to see you. And Jess has just joined us. Hey, Jess and Ralph. Always lovely to have you gents here with us. Thank you so much for coming out tonight to check out what we're up to. I see our good friend Sunset is in the house. Hey, Sunset. Lovely to have you here. Stephanie from Ginger Snap Kitchen. Woot, woot. Hey, Ginger Snap Kitchen in the house. How cool is that? And Janine Johnson. Lovely to have you here, of course. Thank you so much for coming to join us tonight. This is a great crowd. How wonderful is that? And Trish is here from Cooking with Trish. Hi, Trish. Thanks for coming to hang out tonight. I'm so happy to see you all. And then once again, I want to mention Robin from Robin Spies and DIYs is in the house. And Robin, I sure did enjoy your premiere earlier today. For those of you who aren't familiar with Robin Spies and DIYs channels, let me give her a shameless plug, also known as a shout out right here. Today, Robin had a premiere with these lovely gift bags that she made up for Halloween with all kinds of cool candy and stickers and goodies and stuff that kids or adults would love. So I thought those came out really cool and they looked really beautiful. So nice work, Robin. I really enjoyed that video today. So let me make sure I've got uh, said hello to everyone here in the chat. Oh, I see Tom's here from Tom's Food Factory. Tom, great to have you here this evening. So nice for you all to come and hang out. Now, we haven't usually done live streams at night, particularly often in the past, except for a couple of party themed type of shows. And then uh, a couple weeks ago, we did an evening live and it was reasonably successful. And then last Sunday, we did an evening live that was really successful and the chat got busy really fast, just like what you see here. Hello <laughs> tonight. So thanks for coming to hang out. It seems like Sunday night is a good night for a lot of people. So we may do this on a more regular basis. So, so as you saw, <laughs> excuse me, from the thumbnail, I love what Tom just said. It just came through the chat. Mitch and Philip after dark. Yeah, definitely. Well, uh, the last time we did a live, I don't think it was last week, but the time before, I actually wore a black satin shirt, which is from the collection of satin shirts that if you've been with our channel for a long time, you know that I used to dress in satin shirts every time we did a cooking video. So I just happened to throw on the black one that I had because I thought that the colors we were going to show off that night would look good against a black background. And someone thought that I was wearing my pajamas. So I actually thought that was a really good idea. And I may start doing that in the not too distant future. But for tonight, I'm showing off our new logo on our new swag. This happens to be a t-shirt. You can get these at our online store. And there's a link to that on the main page from our YouTube channel. So you can check that out if you like. So, okay. I have a box here, as you can see, sitting here on the table. You can see the familiar Target logo right here. And notice this is already open. Okay. Now, what's the reason for that? Usually when we do an unboxing video, we cut the box open while we're live. Well, I needed to uh, use uh, some sort of a thumbnail image for this video. And as you saw from the thumbnail, if you got the notification, and I sure hope you did, that you could see basically what, what I did was I opened this up and I took a picture of right what was sitting on the top just so I could have a thumbnail that was something other than the side of a box because we do unboxing videos often. And sometimes I think it just gets boring when the thumbnail only shows the side of a box all the time. So that's the reason that this box is already open. Now, I should also mention that if you're familiar with our channel, uh, all the way back in, I believe it was late January, early February, we had a big box of candy delivered and all that was Valentine candy. And we did an unboxing for that. And then we turned the contents of the box of Valentine candy into a candy board for Valentine's Day. And that was all pink and red and really pretty. So we're gonna do something similar, but this time everything is Halloween themed. And I have a bunch of different candy, all of which I got from target.com. This is not an advertisement for Target and it's not a sponsored video. I just shopped here because I thought they had the best selection 
the most reasonable prices. And because I spent a certain amount, the shipping was free. And all this stuff just arrived in just a few days right to the front door. So I was very pleased about that. So that's the reason I did shopping at Target. So all the things I'm going to show you tonight, I put a link in the description below where you're watching this live stream. So you can be sure if you want to check out all the goodies that I got for yourself, that link will take you to a list of all the candy, Halloween candy that Target.com currently has available for home delivery, which is where I got all of these goodies. So let's get into the box, shall we? Because I mean, you know, it is a haul unboxing video. So let's tip this open. Now, right here on the top, you may have noticed from the thumbnail, there was several bags of candy and there was also a skull which is right here on top so now this isn't candy obviously but this is uh one of my ideas for an element on the candy board i'm thinking of putting together what i liked about this was that it's plastic so if it falls on the floor it won't break and it's lightweight and also the jaw can be opened up so I thought it might be cool to, you know, set this on the candy board and then have candy spilling out of the skull's mouth. So that was the reason that I picked up this particular skull. Like I said, this is just plastic and this skull, the jaw itself can be adjusted in different positions. It just moves pretty easily back and forth. So you can leave it in the open position or whichever you want. So that's what I liked about it. It also has a hole in the top. So you can affix a hanger to this and you could hang it from the ceiling or from a beam on the front porch if you want to use it outside. And I think these would be perfectly durable outside because they're plastic and they could get wet with no problem. This was uh, $5 for this plastic skull. So I thought that was a reasonable price for a plastic skull. We're not usually big fans of or when it comes to Halloween, we tend to like to do cutesy kind of Halloween things. But we also recognize that a lot of our viewers and friends like to do things that are a little edgier for Halloween. So I thought, well, we'll just bring in the skull and it's got a little bit of a ghoulish element rather than a gory element. So now, yes, someone has mentioned in the uh, chat, uh, Robin has mentioned that this box is really full. And you are absolutely right. This box weighs about 14 pounds. And it was quite an ordeal getting it down the stairs. Normally carrying a box this size and this heavy wouldn't be a problem for me. But if you've been following us lately, I've been complaining a lot about the sciatica problem that I'm having. And so it makes it hard to walk and stand. And carrying boxes is no easy task. So I had one of our housemates bring this downstairs for me tonight. So I did not have to carry this heavy box because there are several bags of candy and some of them weigh a pound each. So the weight builds up quickly on a box this size. So, but yes, we are definitely gonna be laid out with candy. So our first little goodie is this beautiful little plastic skull. Now there's another skull in here as well that I wanna show you. And this is a completely different direction for a skull. Let me hold this up. It's actually in a package that's sealed shut. Let me see if I can pop this open and get this baby out. There we go. Okay, this ought to make it show up a lot better on camera here. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so this skull, as you can see, is very, very shiny metallic gold. I thought it might be an alternative to a more traditional looking skull like this. But now that I see it in person, I like it but I think it almost has the look of the C-3PO character from Star Wars, which is not really the direction that I'm going in for Halloween. Yes, I see several people agree with me. It looks like C-3PO. So this does open up so you can fill it like an Easter egg. So I do like that about it, but I'm not sure it's skeleton-like enough to give me the Halloween look that I'm looking for. I think this might be better reserved for another project, but I do think it's cool. So I'm glad I got both of them because I wanted to see what these were like. These were also, I think somewhere around $5, $3.99, $4.99, something like that. So neither one of these were expensive. And I also got a couple of these. We'll see when you get to the bottom of the box because they weren't expensive. So I thought maybe I could set them other places and use them to decorate the rest of the house. So I want to say hello to Karen from In the Kitchen with Karen. Hi, Karen. Great to see you tonight. Thanks for coming to hang out. I'm opening this big box full of candy that I ordered from Target.com. And I also see that Dolores is here from Baking Diva. Great to have you here, Baking Diva. Always a pleasure to see your avatar come across our screen. Thanks for coming to hang out tonight. 
So I've just unpacked the first two items from this box, and these are plastic skulls. For those of you who missed out, this C-3PO lookalike skull, it wasn't sold as a Star Wars character. It was just so sold as a skull. Let me hold this up closer so you can see it. This also pops open like that so you can put stuff inside of it. That was one of the parts of it that I really liked about it. And I see uh, Marcel from Little Fish in the Kitchen is here. Hey, Marcel, great to have you here. I just saw a picture go by, I believe it was on Instagram, Marcel, of your swimming pool in your yard space. That looked like a really fun place to hang out. That was so cool. Okay, so I also see uh, Sonia is here, Mrs. Sonia Elaine. Lovely to have you here tonight. I am showing off this skull that I just retrieved from this box that arrived from Target. I believe this box arrived day before yesterday. So it's been all I could do not to dig through here and check everything out because I was very excited with my purchases. So I will continue to show you off, show off what's going on here. Now, when you see me looking over this way, I have a laptop right here. So those of you who are new to our live streams, I sometimes look off over towards what's my left in order to monitor the chat as it unfolds during the show. So I do my best to check in every time. If you wanna get my attention in the chat, the best way to do that is to use the at symbol before you type Mitch and Philip, and that creates a highlight. So when you see the orange highlight going through the chat, that's when someone has used the at symbol before they type the channel name. And that draws a little more attention to what your message is on the screen for the person whose channel name you've highlighted. So that's how that works in case you don't know how to do that. So, okay, we've got these two cool skulls, and I'm pretty sure there's, yeah, there is right down in here. I bought two of each of these skulls because I like to have a backup in case I really like something and I want more than one. And sometimes, I don't know if you've ever had this experience, but a lot of times, especially during the holidays where different things are really popular, the closer the holiday gets, I didn't want to go back and find out that these were sold out and that I didn't have the opportunity to buy another one. So I got two while I was at it. Let's put this one back up here so we can just have a look at it while we're opening the rest of this package. Now, there are some other goodies in here. Most of this is candy, but there are a few plastic items for decorating the candy board that I have planned as well as the candy itself. So let's take a look at what the next item is. Right here on top, we have this bag. Now these are small skulls. And I suppose I'm gonna have to cut this bag open so I can show you these and why I picked these. So I'm just gonna use our trusty red handled scissors that you've probably seen lots of times if you've watched our unboxing videos in the past. So I wanna just pop one of these skulls out and show you what these are. These are smaller size skulls. Oh, I'm sorry, I just got distracted by the chat because I saw our name highlighted, which is exactly what I asked you to do. So thank you for doing that. Terry from Madwood Barbecue is suggesting drilling holes in the eyes and putting a light inside so the eyes will light up. I think that sounds like a great idea. We actually have some battery operated LEDs that could go right inside this so we wouldn't even need to worry about what to do with a cord. So I think we'll probably give that a try. Thanks for that great idea, Terry. That was awesome. Uh, Let's see. Oh, uh, Robin wants to know, are you going to taste each candy? Well, I may not taste every single thing in this box, but we are definitely going to open at least a few of these packages and have a look at exactly what's inside the wrapper. And I suspect I'll be giving things a little bit of a taste as well. And probably right around the time the candy's ready to be tasted is when we'll probably see Philip come out of his office and come hang out with us. So <laughs> yeah, did you hear that? He's just in the other room at his office. So I expect him to be joining us when it's time for a little taste testing. So, okay. Um, yes. Oh, Sunset is asking, does the gold skull open? Well, the answer to that is yes. And so do these little tiny baby uh, transparent skulls. These open as well. And that's why I picked these because I want to fill these with M&Ms and put these out on the candy board because with my idea is that then guests could take these and eat the M&Ms and then have the little skull as a keepsake from your Halloween soiree. So that's why I got these. But yes, to answer Sunset's question, the gold skull does open like this so you could fill it up with candy. So I think that's a plus about this. And I also, I love the gold finish. I just wish that it looked more like a traditional skull rather than a robot skull. So, but it's cool and I'm sure I'll be able to find a use for it. So these are the tinier skulls. There were several of these in this package. Uh, there's actually eight. 
in this package. And this was about $5. So I don't think that's too unreasonable. And if these don't get taken by the guests, then I can use them over and over again. And if they do, they weren't so expensive that I can't afford to buy more in the future. So that's what these are. Let me show you this again up close. And these pop open so you can fill them up with candy. And I see Daniel has joined us from Second Chance Love. Daniel, so lovely to have you here tonight. Your new arrangement in your hutch is absolutely stunning. I was so excited to see so many of the pieces that I've seen in your videos that you've collected over the last few months all come together in such a beautiful display. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the Second Chance Love channel, Daniel is the producer and host, and he collects all kinds of lovely things. He's a big thrifter, and he also does decorating videos. And today's video, as I mentioned, was this lovely setup uh, he styled an entire hutch in his dining room with all these amazing Halloween decorations and a really lovely color scheme of black, orange, lime green, purple, and a little bit of white. Exactly the color scheme I would go with if I was decorating for Halloween. So nice work, Daniel. That looked really, really beautiful. So, okay, let me see. I just want to make sure I'm keeping track of everyone in the chat here and saying hi and answering questions as they come up. And apologies for my phone going off on the set. Who has a phone on the set? That kind of stuff used to really bug me, but now I just let it go over, you know, wash over me because we, we have more important things to get upset about than once in a while when someone's phone makes a noise because that's what phones do. So, okay, woo we've got some skulls going on here, but where is the candy? The candy is in the box. It's time to get some of this candy out. First, I want to say hello to Junie. Junie, lovely to see you this evening. Thank you for coming out to join us tonight. We have got some plastic skulls going on that I'm going to use to decorate our candy board. And let me set these aside over here. Well, I want to put them somewhere where we can still keep an eye on them. You know, we need to keep track of our skulls. Anyway, now the rest of this box pretty much, oh, there is one more skull in this box. I can see it here. Let me reach in and get this out. Okay. That's another one of these. They're twins. That's, as I mentioned earlier, I like to get two of things that I think I'm really going to like in case... I want to use more than one, or if something happens to one of them, then I've got a backup in case something I like gets wrecked because sometimes that happens. Or, you know, if someone falls in love with, with this and when, that they come over, I can give one away and I'll still have one for myself. So there we have it. <clears throat> a little skull, another little skull. So, okay. I need to take care of a little moderating business right here. Let me take care of this really quick. And then we'll be right back to the show. Okay, there we go. I think that should do it. All righty. So we're down to, excuse that interruption. Once in a while, I have to do a moderation thing if we don't have one of our moderators in the chat. And that's what that was just about. Occasionally, someone tries to interrupt the chat with something that's not appropriate. And so part of my job, which is why I look over here at the screen, is to make sure that that doesn't happen. So anyway, thanks for indulging me while I took care of that. So we've got one more skull here. I'm going to save this one to use for another project, or like I say, just keep it hanging around in case this one doesn't last as long as I'd like it to. So anyway, okay, the rest of this box should be a lot of lovely candy. So let's have a look in here. Okay, let me see. All right. Oh, hey, look what we've got here, Kit Kat. Now, I'm gonna turn these away from the light so you can see the packaging a little bit better. Let me see if I can get this up closer to the screen. There we go. Okay, so these are called Kit Kat Breaking Bones. And the reason for that is they're just like regular Kit Kats with the exception of the chocolate coating is white chocolate in this case instead of milk chocolate. So I wanna open this and have a look at what these look like because I've never seen white chocolate Kit Kats before. I don't know, have any of you ever seen these white chocolate Kit Kats before? I'm not familiar with these. And when I saw them at Target.com, I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have these. Now let's see what these look like when you open it up. Okay, so they come in little individualized packages like this. Let me hold this up a little closer so you can see it. Okay, so you get two Twix per package. So I think this would be, a uh, they're calling this snack size. I think this would be a very nice trick or treat candy to give away. And I also think it's gonna make a really nice presentation on our candy board. So let me check in here with the chat really cool. I know, I agree, I think these are cool. So let's open one of these up 
and see what the candy itself actually looks like. Let's get my go. I didn't quite cut through far enough. Let's give this another shot at the other end. See if I can get through the packaging. There we go. Okay, okay, there we go. Now I did it. All right, let's set those aside and let's get one of these out. Ooh, look how cool these are. I love white chocolate. So for me, these are great. Okay, so this is what we get. We have, it's just, it looks exactly like a regular Kit Kat, but it's white chocolate. So I don't know, who likes Kit Kats? I mean, I do, I do. <laughs> so I think I wanna give this a taste. Now Jess says they love Kit Kats. Junie loves Kit Kats. Mm. Oh yeah, this, this is a Kit Kat, all right. This is just what you expect a Kit Kat to be, except for it has white chocolate on the outside. Mm, and I love white chocolate. This is so, so good. I can't believe I've never seen these before. I don't know how long they've had these around. They're called Kit Kat Breaking Bones. And these were widely available. I purchased all this candy from Target.com, but you can probably find these just about anywhere that brand name Halloween candy is being sold right now. I'm going to finish this off and I'm going to save the other one in here in the packaging for when Philip comes in so he can try one of these too. So let's put this in the garbage over there. And we're going to need a paper towel to wipe the chocolate off our fingers and our face. So I think this is a success. I like these. They, these could be displayed on a candy board, either still in the wrapper like this, or you could take them out and set them out on the board just like this, which is what I think I might do. Because I think the striking part of this, while the packaging is lovely, I think the most striking part is actually seeing the white Kit Kat because the shape and the embossed logo in it is the same. So it'll be familiar to people. But if you've never seen a white Kit Kat before, it's actually really striking and cool. So there we go. That's one bag of candy is these white Kit Kats. I think I actually, yes, I did. I ordered two bags of these because like I said, I had never seen these before. And so I wanted to make sure I had plenty of them <laughs> because I suspected that we were going to really like them. So I don't think I got two bags of anything else. Everything else is individual, but I did get two bags of these because I wanted to make sure that we had plenty of them. So that's the white Kit Kats. I think they are so cool. Uh, let's see. Sunset is commenting that they just tried a Trader Joe's Kit Kat made in Poland. Well, I don't think I've ever tried anything from Trader Joe's that I didn't like when it came to their sweets and cookies. Personally, I love a lot of their Christmas treats, particularly Peppermint Jojo's. So I suspect we'll have uh, several boxes of those in the pantry upstairs in the not too distant future. Yes, Tom. Tom says... He needs to go trick-or-treating at our house this year. We never get trick-or-treaters at the front door. We were actually talking about this on our last live stream that here in San Francisco, families don't take their children trick-or-treating. I'm not sure exactly why that is, but we haven't had anyone knock at the front door for years and years and years, though I suspect that will be different when we move to our new house, because in our new house, there are lots of families with children that are school age. So there'll probably be some sort of organized trick-or-treating going on once we get to our new house. We'll have to see how that goes. Uh, Ginger Snap Kitchen is mentioning, I love the color changing light behind you. Well, thank you. Those are actually light bulbs that have a standard A26 or, a, or E26 and A27 base. It's a standard light bulb base. That's what these lamps require. And the bulbs themselves, are color changing LED bulbs. They're not particularly expensive and they operate with the remote control just like this. So we can turn these lights any color we want or like Philip has these set up that they color change through a cycle of colors and they're not too expensive. And like I say, they fit in any size lamp that has a standard, uh, what do I wanna say? Edison socket is what I wanna say. Uh, and so I really like those because you can change any lamp into a color changing lamp really, really easily. We've done this uh, same effect with some of the can lights we have in the ceiling that require Edison bulbs. But unlike Edison bulbs, these LED bulbs don't use a lot of electricity at all. So not only are they cool and can be changed to about any color you want, they are also very energy efficient and your electric bill will not be high even if you leave the lights on all evening like we do. 
<laughs> Jennifer at home has joined us. Jennifer, lovely to see you. I hope you and Alan are doing well where you are tonight. Thank you so much for coming to join us. We've taken out the first two bags of candy, which were white Kit Kats. And let's go on. Let's see what else is in here because there's actually quite a few bags of candy in here. Let's go for something. This has Reese's on it. Oh, these are cool. Okay, let me show you what this is. This is called Reese's Franken Cup. And what's different than regular Reese's is they've got green chocolate on the bottom half of the peanut butter cup. Now, I had never seen these either. So let's open this and have a look because I want to see how green this green actually is. You know, is it really Frankenstein green? Now, on the outside of the package, it does say that the peanut butter cups inside of this package are individually wrapped. So that makes them perfect for giving out at the front door if you do have trick-or-treaters. So let's check out what's going on in here. There. Okay. Yep. Regular size. I think these look like they're about regular size peanut butter cups. And they come, just like they said, individually wrapped. So let's open one of these up and see what this looks like. I want to check out this green chocolate. I see Terry from Madwood Barbecue says, ooh, Reese is my favorite. Yes, Reese's are quite delicious. I have enjoyed this candy ever since I was a little boy. And that was a really long time ago. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Oh, yes. Look, these are green on the bottom. Absolutely green. So let me show you this. There we go. That's our peanut butter cup. And this, the white light here, the LED or the CFL lights that we have here in the studio are sort of making the green fade out. But you can see there definitely is two different colors of chocolate and the bottom of this is sort of a minty shade of green. Hello! Oh, some candy Somebody's here? opening candy around here and oh, you are just boy. in time. I'm sorry this box is blocking you. Let me scooch over so there's room for you. Philip has joined us in the studio for the candy unboxing. Woot, woot, woot. I Here's our Reese's haul. And I yes, he heard Reese. So you can be the taste tester. Now, that's the, oh, yeah. that's the Franken cup. Check out the green chocolate and tell me what you think about oh, that. Wow. I think I think they're fun. Definitely different. How does it taste? Mm. <laughs> it's our Reese's. Mm. Peanut butter. So I guess the green chocolate is basically just white chocolate tinted green. Yeah, I think it. I think it looks really so cool. It's not like, like minty it. or anything. It doesn't taste minty. It's no. just green. No. So it tastes just like a regular peanut butter cup. We just got some green food coloring mm. tinting white chocolate. So I think those are cool. I really like the look of it. Num num. Uh, Terry from Madwood says you can't be much older than me. Well, we, we can play the who's older than who game at some point, maybe towards the end of the show, because uh, right now I feel like acting like a little kid with all this candy around. <laughs> okay, so several people are saying hi, Philip. Daniel from Second Chance Love. Mrs. Sonia Elaine. Jennifer from Jennifer at Home. Stephanie from Ginger Snap Kitchen. Ralph. Junie. Janine. Okay, so yeah. He's way more popular than me, and I'm the one who tries to get noticed. So go figure how that works. Okay, so you would give those mm. a thumbs up, yes? Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so that's the Reese's. These are called Franken Cups. One let me hold this up. up. Yeah, let me show you this one more time. This is Reese's Franken Cups. And Franken -cups. these were, uh, you know, all this came from Target. So widely available at a big box store. Nothing here was hard to find. Sunset says hello. Thank you all. Janine Hi, says hello. Hi, Janine. Okay, so uh, why don't you reach in there and pull out the next bag for us to Ooh, check out? Oh Anything's fine, just reach and pull. Oh, Ooh. there we go. Okay, that's a, this is something a little different than what we normally pick. Gummy finger. So now this is something, like I say, we don't normally do gory Halloween things. We try to keep everything cute. It's resealable, so I'm going to open it. Yeah, go right ahead and open it. So let's check these out. These aren't particularly gory as it goes. I mean, if you just well, think candy fingers are just disgusting, then definitely you don't <laughs> want this on your candy board. They come in lots of colors. They do. Let's check it out. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's got oh. that familiar smell of gummy. So it's got, it's got the little ridges for, like, the knuckles. And then in the end, the nail is actually a clear gel <laughs> as opposed to the uh, solid gel the finger's made of. 
Yeah, and here's one. This is a green one. So they're in different colors. See that? They're actually kind of revolting, but in a good revolting way, if there is such a thing. Mm. We'll try one and see what you think. They smell almost like raspberry. They smell oh. almost very like. Now there's some, there's some different colors. Some of them are two colors. Mm. And there's, yeah, there's definitely, definitely a whole bunch of different ones in here. Oh yeah. See, there's yeah, there's lots of different colors. Let me hold up some of these. That's different vaguely colors. fruit flavor. <laughs> vaguely fruit flavor. Let me hold these up. So you see, we've got lots of different colored fingers. And these are gummy candies. I don't know what kids would like these. <laughs> Ginger Snap says, I for one am revolted. <laughs> I know. Robin says, I'm getting hungry. I need a snack. <laughs> I don't blame you, Robin. We're going to be snacking on some of this candy. There's There are some of these candies that are never going to make it to our candy board project. Okay, so I would say those are kind of cute, and they're not they're not terribly gory. They're just ever so slightly revolting, <laughs> which I think probably works for Halloween. I know one thing I want you to see before we move on. Yeah, the, uh, this was the white Kit Kat oh, cool. that you didn't get to see. We, mm. we did that earlier. So what do you think about that? Cool. I like it too. Yep. So go ahead and chow on it. Mm. They taste just like regular Kit Kats. They just have white chocolate. I love white chocolate, so I'm good with that. Mm, nice and sweet. I love it. Mm. Jennifer says, we think you two could have your own TV show. <laughs> Thank you. I consider that a great compliment. And we actually have been told that before. But every time I've auditioned for Food Network, I get the thumbs down. So I don't know why that is, because I think we're I think we have good camera presence. We have a good knowledge base and I think we're fun to hang out with. So we'll see what happens. But right now we are loving our place right here on YouTube. And thank you all so much for coming to join us tonight. It is so lovely to have a chat room full of kind, caring people who want to hang out and just bond over some Halloween candy. I mean, mm. how much fun is that? So speaking of candy, um, oh, I want to mention really quick, Baking Diva is says, Philip, I'm making your pork, pork roast. Oh, cool. I can't wait to find out how it comes out for you. When he does it, it is so delicious. And I'm, some of you who have watched our show know that I'm not the big meat eater in our family, but when I do eat meat, I God eat Lord. meat that he makes, and it's really good. The pulled pork from the other afternoon is really, really good. I made enchilada sauce tonight, so I'll be making enchiladas in the near future. Yay, yay, enchiladas. I can't wait. Okay, but back on track here. Oh, thank you, Junie. Junie says, you two are fabulous. I'd watch every show. Thank you. We appreciate you watching us here because that really helps us a lot right now. So thank you for joining us. We love to see these lovely comments. And Jill has joined us from Yester Kitchen. Hi, Jill. Hey, Jill. Great to see you. Oh, my gosh. It's so great to have you here tonight. Uh, Jill is heading out to Palm Springs. Ooh, lucky oh, you. lucky her. I know. I know. I, I, like just, I love the lifestyle she has adopted where they live at their summer cottage by the lake in the Ooh. summer, and then they go to Palm Springs and live in Palm Springs during the winter. Oh, yeah. That sounds amazing to me. So if you're gonna be down there for a while, I wish we could figure out how to get down there. We have to move in the next three months. So we're probably not gonna have time to do anything in the way no. of a vacation. <laughs> and our our budget is blown on our new house. So interest rates keep going up. Yeah, right? I know. The higher the interest rates go, the bigger the monthly payment's going to yeah. be, which means less money available to do fun things. But we will get to Palm Springs one of these days, and hopefully Jill will be there when we do. Yay. Okay, so let me see. I want to make sure I've said hello to everyone. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Jennifer. Jennifer is very kindly reminding everyone that if you're enjoying the show tonight, to please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to our channel, we'd love it if you'd hit the red subscribe button. And if you hit the bell symbol as well, that's a lot of things to click, but uh, you'll get notifications that'll make your phone ring like that every time we have new content to view. Okay. Uh, Janine says, I feel like I've known you two forever. I love your channel. Well, thank you for your kind words, Janine. We sure do appreciate that. And we really enjoy seeing regular viewers come back and hang out in the chat with us over and over. You know, we've been yeah. doing these live streams for almost four years 
And we're very fortunate that many people that were with us right from the first live stream we did still come and hang out with us now. So we really, really appreciate that. Okay, so as you can see, Philip's ogling the candies yeah. in the box. So I'd say, you know, let's get some more candy okay, out and have okay. a look at what's going on. Just to break up everything, these Ooh. are Dove Pumpkin okay. Milk Chocolate. Let's hold these up so everyone can see the package. I'm going to turn this away from the light so you can see what this looks like. Okay, so these are milk chocolate. There are actually more than one package of Dove Pumpkins in there. They had different flavors of chocolate. So that's what I got. I got a bag of each flavor. Let's have a look at these. Oh, okay. Okay, well. well, we'll hang on to that for a minute. So these are what I like about Dove chocolates. There's one for you to check out. These are always wrapped in foil. And this particular Halloween selection has a pumpkin printed on the orange foil. Yeah. And then there are other flavors of chocolate. These, like I said, are milk chocolate. There are other flavors of chocolate that have different color wrappers. And that's how you can tell the difference which one is which without taking the wrapper off first. So what I like about these metallic foil wrappers in these Halloween colors is that they'll look very striking and festive on a candy board. And that's exactly the kind of detail that I'm looking for when I'm picking candy for a candy board is things that look pretty even if they're not unwrapped. And these definitely, I think, are striking even when they're not unwrapped. So how is that? There's a, um, a it's just dog on the inside too. Oh, okay. There's some kind of message that I can't read. Let me see. It says trick or treat. Who needs tricks? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the inside of the label. Mm. So that was the reason for getting these was this lovely metallic. Let me show you a few more of these and put some of these up. These lovely metallic orange wrappers because I think this will look really striking. And to me, this metallic orange has says Halloween. So that's why I like these so much. Okay, so. Uh, oh, Jill is saying she'll be in Palm Springs through April. Cool. Well, we might be able to put something together by then. So that I would love to get down there so we could hang out. <laughs> that would be so much fun. So, okay, let's see. Uh, Dove Chocolate has been bringing pleasure through chocolate since 1939. That's what Ralph just put in the chat. So thank you for that tidbit of information. We sure do appreciate your contribution. And speaking of contributions, you've got another oh. bag of Dove sitting so there. This is the other dark chocolate pumpkin. Do you want to cut it? Okay. Show the bag first. Show the bag first. La, 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 la. Okay. And the foil uh, on these candies, on the dark chocolate, is a different color. Well, you've got that under control without a pair of scissors. Ooh. Go up a little bit higher with your hand. Whoa. There you go. Okay, so green. Those, so those those are going to look great with the orange. This is awesome. Same shape. Same uh, little pumpkin on the foil. So, But this is just dark chocolate. Actually, yeah. there's a pumpkin, but they're all a little oh, they're different. Oh, they're different, yeah. Yeah, the pumpkin, the printing on the labels... The little pumpkins that are printed on the front of the foil are different on the different flavors of chocolate. So that's really cool. So you're going to try one of the dark chocolate oh, of course. ones? Okay. I'll see what's, what's on the inside of the label. Well, there it probably says the same thing as the other one, but maybe not. We'll find out. That, that's dark chocolate, all right. It is different. Let's see what it says. It says, relax for a spell. So there's different <laughs> well, messages <get> <laughs> on the inside of the foil labels as well. So that's another just fun party thing. This would definitely mm -hmm. make for a festive presentation if you were having guests for Halloween. Oh, I love dark chocolate. Yes, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. And Dove is particularly good chocolate. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so you like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how did I do so far? Oh, We've so got good. quite a few more candies oh, to God. check out. I want to be sick by the end of this evening. <laughs> Well, we're definitely going to get our fill of candy. Robin was asking if we were going to be tasting any, and I said yes. And that's, it looks like we're going to be tasting just about everything, Robin. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see what's next. Just grab anything. Use some M here. Use Ooh, M and M's. Ooh, we love yeah. M and M's. Ghouls mix. Okay, let's hold this up so everyone can see. This is called M and M's Ghouls mix, and you can see they have Halloween themed colors now let's see what makes it ghouls mix uh it's just the halloween colors i think now this particular bag is milk chocolate ah, okay we have other bags of m m's that are also different types of chocolate so this particular ghouls mix is milk chocolate let me hold this up close again so you can see 
It says ghouls mix up here, and then the colors are lime green, orange, and purple for Halloween. So we have, we have actually have, and then we have um. More in it ends. Yeah. Hello. Okay, I want to say uh, good night to Jess and Ralph. They've been hanging out with us, but it's past their bedtime. Oh, okay. So, gents, thanks for coming to join us Bye. tonight. You will be seeing this candy in a live stream before Halloween because we're going to show you how to put all this candy into a candy board. So, we hope you can make it then. Uh, and Jennifer says, mmm, m ms Totally agree with you. And Marcel from A Little Fish in the Kitchen says, ooh, cool, col cool colors. Mm. I agree with I agree with that, too. Now, this... This is also a ghouls mix, but this packaging is red instead of black. And the colors of the candy are the same as the milk chocolate, but these are peanut M&Ms. Or actually, excuse peanut me, butter. peanut butter M&Ms. So peanut they don't butter. have, they're bigger than regular M&Ms, but they're not quite as large as M&Ms that actually have peanuts inside, because this is peanut butter. And then there's the more peanut. Oh, hello. And they're in the familiar yellow bag that the peanut ones come in. So this is also a ghouls mix, but this is peanut M&Ms. And as you can see, we also have the purple, lime green, and bright orange color combination once again. And I think there was one more bag of M&Ms. I think I had four kinds. The, um, but oh, the okay. Cream. Oh, this is a different, this is a completely different line. This is called Cookies and Scream. Let me hold these up. These are called Cookies and Scream M&Ms, and the colors of these are white, black, and orange. Oh, wait, I've got more. Uh, there's, there's, there's multiple bags of some of them. Really? Because I don't remember ordering two of each. That's two of each already, yeah. isn't it? Two those. Well, no wonder the bill for the candy was so expensive. I thought I only ordered one of each bag of M&Ms, but these are really cool. I don't. Have we ever seen black M&Ms before? I don't think I have. They're black? Yeah, they're black and orange and white. Ooh, cool. Let's check it out. Here, I got a couple of little bowls. Oh, this is regular. Okay, there's two of these and two of those. Okay, so there is two each and of some. there's one each of these. Okay, so I misspoke when I said there was only one bag of each candy, because apparently I clicked the two instead of the one on a couple of things. So we actually have six bags of M&Ms, okay. but can you ever have too many M&Ms? Are we making cookies? I don't think so. So let's open this. I've never seen black M&Ms before, so I want to have a look at okay. these. These are called Cookies and Scream, and they're black, orange, and white. And uh, the reason they're called Cookies and Scream is because apparently there is an element of Oreo cookie to the filling. We'll find out. We'll find out. Yes, we will. Now, I have to get this open, and I didn't cut down far enough. <laughs> So sorry about that. Okay, let's go another route. Let's let's put this up close so you can watch these get poured in. Ooh, cool. Those are black, all right. Okay, so let me hold these up so everyone can see. So there are the Cookies and Scream M&Ms. These are larger than regular M&Ms. They look very similar to the peanut butter M&Ms. Yeah. Let's try one. Okay, Actually, I'm going to try a black one too. It, it's really, really dark. Chocolate? Is it black no, it's black. Okay. It's definitely yeah. black. Okay, let's try one of these. Well, they're good. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get the cookie at the end. It tastes like the cream in the center of an Oreo. That's right. And yeah. there's a little tiny crunch element that's in addition to the shell. Mm. Let me bite one in half and see if I can show you that. Yeah, there you go. So you can see, yeah, hopefully you can the, see. the filling is a white cream yeah. surrounded by a little tiny bit of cookie and then coated mm -hmm. with the hard chocolate colorful shell. So that's what cookies and scream are. Well, I think these colors are lovely. Let me hold this up again so you can see. We have orange, black, and white. Those are really cool. Let's have a look at one of the other ones. Let me get, can you napkin? Oops. Okay, let's have a look at one of the other ones. Do you want to do the peanut butter or just the milk chocolate? Peanut butter. Okay. Philip doesn't need scissors. He can open things. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's set up. It's... Every time I do that, it just never works. Oh, Ooh, these colors pretty. are lovely. <clears throat> I agree, Jennifer. These are fabulous colors. Yeah. Okay, let me hold these up. As you can see, these are lime green, purple, and bright orange, and these are peanut butter 
M and M's. So they have soft peanut butter inside the chocolate shell. I'm gonna try one of these pretty green ones. We'll try a purple one. Purple. Mm. Oh. Yummy. So peanut buttery. Oh. If you like peanut butter and chocolate, you will love peanut butter M&Ms. They're like Reese's Pieces. Yes, they are very much like Reese's Pieces. These are supremely delish. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Okay. Okay. So there are, we're getting piles and piles of candy out here. Hey, a little bit more to go. Piles and piles. Okay, there's a little bit more to go. Let's see what else we have. Oh my God. <clears throat> okay, there's one more Dove pumpkin. Oh, there's Dove. Ooh. Caramel and milk chocolate. Caramel and milk chocolate. We have to open those. You've got to open those. Yes, we must. Oh, well, it's okay. We're, we don't need the packaging. Okay, there we They're go. Golden. Those are golden. There's a yep. different kind of pumpkin. Let me show, hold these up. So this wrapper is gold. These are the caramel Dove chocolates. And there's a different pumpkin printed on the surface of the foil on this one that's so different than the green or the orange ones. Oh, we have to try this. Okay, have a taste flavor. of that. I want to save these bags, <clears throat> even though, uh, because when we do the candy board, I want to be able to show once again what the candy was for anyone who hasn't watched this unboxing video. Mm. Oh my gosh, did you see that caramel? That would have been a good pull. Filled with caramel. Those look mm. really good. Oh my God. Well, now, what about now the labels of the other ones have all had messages on the interior. So this one says relax for a spell. Okay. So they've got a couple different messages on the inside and then different color or excuse me, different printing of these pumpkin motifs mm. on the foil. Mm. So the caramel had gold, the dark chocolate had green foil and the milk chocolate had orange foil. So, so good. I love the idea of putting all the different colors together. Let me just get them out right here really fast so we can take a look at that and see what all three of these colors look like. I got all of them because most, you know, Ooh. primarily because of the different colors. Okay, so let me hold this up. There, There's the three colors of the Dove candy, the three different flavors of chocolate, the caramel, the dark chocolate, and the orange is the milk chocolate. So in addition to the different colors of foil, as you can see, there is also a different pumpkin motif printed on the top of each one. So I think that's really cool. These will look great <clears throat> on a candy board because the foil is very reflective. So it bounces the light nicely and they'll definitely get noticed. Have we got anything else? Oh, yes. Okay, we have some more Reese's candy. There is candy. more. More Reese's candy. Let's do the ghosts first. Oh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Okay, let me hold that up really close. So. What we've got here is Reese's Ghosts. So these are basically peanut butter cups in the shape of ghosts. And of course, as you can see from white this chocolate. label, they have white chocolate. So shall we try one of these? Yeah, I want to cut this because it keeps the package yeah, nicer. Right. <laughs> okay, so we've got, there's one for you to open. So the ghosts come much like the Kit Kat packaging, they're packaged individually, so these would be suitable for giving out at the front door for trick-or-treat candy, as well as, you know, what we're going to do, which is make a candy board. Now, let's see what it looks like. Well, it shows eyes on the thingy, but actually, it's just, it's just a little... Okay, a little so is that like a one-off? or? <laughs> well, let me open another one and see if they're all like that, because they're supposed to have a face. Well, this one doesn't either. Okay, so that's kind of a misnomer. You can see that on... The front of the packaging, it makes it look too. like, uh, yeah, let me show the back because you can see all through it. It makes it look like there are eyes and a mouth on the ghosts. And in reality, the ones that we got, there isn't any face at all. And this really just kind of looks like a blob. <laughs> it's not really giving me ghost at all. So I, well, they're I, white. I think that these yummy. are going to need some yeah. help. You know, we may have to pipe on some eyes and a mouth to make these look more ghost-like because right out of the package, this is not really giving me ghost. It's kind of giving me blob, which is not really what we were going for. But white chocolate and peanut butter, mmm, the taste is phenomenal. I love white chocolate. And peanut butter and chocolate to me is like, oh my gosh, a match made in heaven. Mmm, oh my, oh, so good. Mm -hmm. Trish says, 
I like to get my favorite candies after Halloween when they're on sale. Yeah. I know what you mean. I'm just, I, I actually buy lots of things on sale after Christmas to use the following year, but Halloween, not so much. But this year we've done a lot more Halloween things than we usually do at Halloween. And we don't ordinarily eat a lot of candy. No. <laughs> it's primarily for our show. Wink, wink, wink. But you know, it's we have, not going to go to waste. We okay? have to suffer for our art. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. Mrs. Sonia Elaine is commenting, I'm excited to see the candy board you make with all of these. So are we. Because, you know, I kind of have a plan. But sometimes we wing it as we go along. But this time, uh, during Val at Valentine's Day, we did a candy board video that was pre-recorded. This time, we're going to do the candy board video live. So then that way, if you guys want to have some input, you can say, no, take that bowl of stuff and move it six inches to the left. You know, So we can play around with what the candy board looks like. And everyone will get to participate. That will be coming up a week from Tuesday. This Tuesday, we're going to be doing... Halloween crack, yeah. which if you're not familiar with that, it's basically cracker toffee with chocolate and we're decorating mm -hmm. the top of it. More candy. It's so good. More candy. It's actually candy and cookie kind of mixed together. Yeah. So it's really a confection, but we're calling it Halloween crack candy. Anyway, we're going to show you how to make that on Tuesday. So it's so good. We made a big batch and we thought, oh, well, we'll take some beauty shots for the thumbnail for the video, which we did. And then we thought, well, there's lots here. We're going to have to take some to the neighbors. Well, then the next day. There's it, two tiny little pieces left. Yeah, it, no, all of our, <laughs> us and our housemates just, it, we basically scarfed that stuff down. It is so good. That's why they call it crack, because it's addictive. Jennifer is saying, I love that Valentine's candy board. Thank you for that lovely compliment, especially coming from Jennifer, because she has got some style when it comes to presentation of food. So I really appreciate that. That was a really fun project. And that's why we wanted to do another candy board for Halloween to show that it doesn't have to be just for any one particular holiday. And this candy board isn't really going to look much like the other candy board at all because we have a whole different color scheme. So you may have heard a meow just then. Our little... Hello, girl please. cat is right here coming to peek in and say hi What's going on, girl? so she's running around on the floor down here she doesn't really go for candy which is lucky for us yeah, yeah. otherwise she'd be up here on the table right about now so. okay so that was it for the white pumpkins these are not quite as successful as i would have liked as far as how they look visually but taste wise these taste amazing it's you know it's a peanut butter cup with white chocolate so there's nothing not to like about that Right, what else Reese's, have we got? One more recent thing. This okay. Is an assortment of state shapes. Of okay. Reasons. Well, we'll see what this turns out to I'm be. I'm sure there are no, no pumpkin faces or bath faces. On well, we're going to find out. So let me hold this up so everyone can see. This is more Reese's shapes. These are supposed to be pumpkins, bats, and ghosts, whereas the white chocolate ones were just ghosts. And as you can see from the label, the label is advertising that there are face cutouts on these particular candies. And we didn't find any on the white chocolate. I'm a little leery of that. So yeah. I'm a little skeptical, <laughs> but let's have a look. Let's see. The shapes might be cool enough that they don't really need to have a face, but we'll find out. I mean, the worst thing that's going to happen is, is that they're going to taste good, even yeah. if they don't look as dramatic as we were hoping. Okay, so, oh, that's an interesting development. Okay, what I'm commenting on is that I, I did not know... Uh, these I knew that these were packaged individually, but what I didn't know was that it tells you which ones are bats, which ones are pumpkins, and which ones are ghosts, because it says that as well as the labels themselves are different colors. So we've got ghost and bat. Okay. The purple you have a ones pumpkin. are pumpkin. Okay, so the green ones are ghosts. The purple ones are pumpkins. And the black ones are the bats. So let's have a look. What do you want, a pumpkin or a ghost or a bat? Uh, the pumpkin. Okay. So we'll put these back to save and let's have a look and see. Well, I want to check out the ghost because I want to see if this chocolate ghost has a face where the white chocolate ghosts did not. What happened? Nothing. Well, it's just a... It's a blob. It's just another, this could be a ghost or a pumpkin. Oh, no. This one's even more blobby. I mean, look. Yeah, they're, they're just blobs. The same thing. Let's hold these up. Okay, that's supposed to be a pumpkin, and this is supposed to be a ghost. And as you can see, let me hold up this I'm package. I'm betting the bat doesn't look much different either. 
These do not look anything <laughs> like the packaging or the advertising. So uh, these these are lackluster as far as the appearance. And of course, I taste the vine. Mm. Yeah, it's a peanut butter cup. I mean, uh, you can't go wrong with peanut butter and chocolate, at least not as far as I'm concerned. But so the taste of these is spot on, exactly what you would expect from a Reese's product. But the look of the product is does not match what's advertised on the packaging at all. The shape is wonky. There's no face. So this was kind of a too good to be true thing. So I think for the purposes of our candy board, I would leave these in the packages <laughs> <laughs> because the packaging is prettier than the candy itself. So that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. I will say I do like the fact that the packaging is a different color for each shape, even if the shapes are all kind of blob like. Yeah. Um, so but I do think that that's nice that they differentiated that and that they're all different colors. So that will make a nice festive presentation on a candy board. So this isn't a bust as far as using it uh, for our candy board, because like I say, we can yeah. rely on the packaging, you know, these pretty colors. That'll be fine. Mm, and they taste really good. Oh, my gosh. These are so good. I'm licking my fingers. I have chocolate everywhere. <laughs> well, Janine is reminding us blobs can be scary too. <laughs> and you're absolutely yeah. right. Wasn't that a film from the 50s, yeah. The Blob? Mm -hmm. It was a famous horror movie. It's really fun to watch vintage horror films because they're so hokey. But at the lot, time, there are lots of cameos of famous stars in it. As well. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that, I mean, what's not to like about that? Okay. Marcel from A Little Fish in the Kitchen has to say goodnight. Because it is a lot later in Texas than it is in California. So thank you, Marcel. It was lovely to see you this evening. We appreciate you being here. Okay, so what have we got left? Okay. Anything? We have two more gummy products. I'm gonna bring them out. Oh, we, oh, we have them. more gummy yeah, products. There's gummy candy corn. Okay, let's hold this up because this is something most people might not have Ooh. seen before. This is gummy candy corn. Now, this brand is called Favorite Day. Let's hold off on that until we get this one shown off. There was supposed to be another bag of something to do with this as well. I think there's a couple of things yeah, it's missing. It's the uh, pumpkin. Okay, let's hold off on that yeah. then. Okay, so this is basically these are gumdrops in the shape of candy corn. So they have a little sugar coating on the outside. And what I liked about the idea of this was that it's something different than all this chocolate stuff that we've going on. So it's a different flavor profile because it's a completely different product. And I also really like using gumdrop type of products on a candy board because the sugar reflects the light really nicely. And so you get a little sparkle element to your candy board. So that was one of the reasons for picking this. As well as that I'd never seen these before. I've never seen gumdrop candy corn pieces before. And the vanilla flavor. Yeah, and they're vanilla flavored. So let me hold this up a little closer and tilt this away from the light so you can see what it looks like better. So we'll be putting these, these will probably, since they're loose and they don't have wrappers, I'll be putting these yeah. in a bowl on the yeah. candy board. But we'll show you more about that when it's time to do the candy board. Okay, so okay there's still a couple more goodies have, left in here. Okay, the other, the other gumdrop thing is the pumpkin. Okay, so we also have another gumdrop element. Let me see if I can shake these around. These are pumpkin shaped gumdrops. And they're orange, and then the top has a little green stem painted on, which you might be able to see right here. These are by the same company that makes the vanilla candy corn shaped ones. Now, these are sour orange Ooh, flavor. Ooh, yummy. So you've got some really different flavor profiles going on here with the gumdrop candy. And I like the fact that this sparkly sugar, you know, it just looks really cool. And since we have so many other things that are chocolate, I think this is going to be super good. So... What else have we got? One we got anything last left? Thing. Gummy teeth. Oh my gosh. Okay. This has just an ever so teensy weensy gore factor to it. So it. yeah, if you're not crazy about gory things, then this is the time to look away. Okay. We're gonna take a look at these. These are gummy dentures or gummy teeth. So it's basically pink, and then there's some tea. Okay, so they're sort of fang like. Let's see. Yes, they're fang-like and very, very white. Let me try one of those. Now that you've done that, I can't not do it. 
the, that's what I liked about these is I thought they had a let's play with it factor. Wah. Let's see. Wah. You got to get it under your lip. Well, it's not happening. Oh. There you go. Well, you can do it. I don't know why I can't do it. <laughs> Okay, so we're making ourselves look like fools <laughs> because it's entertaining. <laughs> okay, so what? Since I was in my, I don't usually eat gummy candy, so I don't really know what to expect it to taste like. It's very rubbery. Mm. Gummy isn't like gumdrops. Gummy is mm -mm. more chewy. No, these gumdrops you can chew through them really easily, but these gummy candies, it's a whole different texture. It's basically, fruit flavored like the fingers. Brother. Well, citrusy. These are. Let me show you. I don't think we showed the package of these. This is the same brand as the gummy fingers that we showed you. This is from a company called Hide and Eek, and that's actually the same people. It's the same line of products that the skull came from. Oh, so they do a lot of different Halloween oh. things. We also ordered gummy eyeballs. But they did not come in this box. So hopefully they'll arrive by the time we're ready to do the live to show you Wasn't the Halloween candy board. For some reason? Yeah, there was a separate box that came from a different distribution center and it went it went missing for a few days <laughs> or something happened. And there's also I showed you earlier these cute little oh, yeah, right. uh, skulls. We also ordered fill those with M&Ms. That's what I was planning to yeah. do is fill these with M&Ms. Uh, we also ordered some of uh, some more of these that, but they were pumpkins and they're orange and they also pop in half like this. So then you can just fill them up with some candies and then pop them back shut. And if you want to, you could tape them shut to make sure they don't pop open on your display. But then that way you've got a little takeaway. I would just love it if guests, you know, pick these up and then snacked at their leisure and then they can keep the skull and take it with them if they want to. So, cool. Junie says the teeth would be cute on top of a cupcake. Yeah, yeah, you nailed it, Junie. Okay, well, I think hmm. that I think we've got an idea there. So we will give you credit, Junie, in the not too distant future when Philip makes there chocolate may cupcakes. Cupcakes on that candy. Yeah, board. <laughs> I think there may be cupcakes on the candy board. Yes, yes, yes. So, oh, and Jennifer is roaring about. She says she and Alan are roaring over the teeth. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty funny. So, okay, so that's what you can do with these little skulls is put candy inside of them. And, or you could just use these, decorate these plain. Also, I think you could probably fill these with like um, that shredded metallic material that's orange mm -hmm. and then just create little decorations to set around. Cause I mean, you know, you can put, a, these can fit just about any place. I think these are cute. You can put almost little dial lights in it and then it would light up. And at, that's what, uh, there was a suggestion made earlier about drilling holes in the eyes of this and putting mm -hmm. a red light inside Ooh, yeah so i thought that was a good idea now my idea for the candy board i was thinking we would set the skull like this and then put out some candy like it was coming whoops they went everywhere you know kind of like it was spilling out of the skull's mouth but i think i'll have to do a better job with that maybe next if we time. use bigger pieces of candy then. okay maybe that like yeah it doesn't need to be open quite so far so we'll work out the details of how to make that look cool. Meanwhile, I've got to get all these back in the full because we're going to need these in the not too distant future. Oh, I'm going to have to hide um, these candies or our housemates will be into them and there won't be any left by the time it's time to do the candy board project. So did we get to the it. bottom of the box? Exactly. We did. We got to the bottom of the box, people. So that is our stash. Yeah. Short the two items that are coming in a separate box from a distribution center in somewhere in you know Egypt or someplace, but uh, we hope to have that when we're ready to go for this candy board. So let's pull all of this back here so we can show you all the candy. Oh my gosh, this is all the candy we got, and that box weighed about 14 pounds. So, yeah, we have a fair amount of candy going on here. And our experience with doing a candy board previously was it took a fair amount of candy to fill it up nicely. And then I always want to have some backup candy because during the course of a party or a soiree, 
sometimes the board will get picked over. And then that way, if you have some extra stuff, you can go back and fill in some of the blanks. So it looks pretty throughout, you know, the whole duration of whatever event that you're hosting. So we will talk more about how to set up the candy board when, on our live stream coming up. It'll be our last Halloween live stream, our last Tuesday live stream before Halloween. This Tuesday, uh, let's see, today's the 16th. Is that correct? I think so, yeah. And the 18th, we're doing the crack, the Halloween crack candy, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, originally, well, we learned how to make that quite a while ago from watching Trisha's Southern Kitchen. But more recently, we saw Karen from In the Kitchen with Karen make Easter crack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With Easter it decorations. So it was gorgeous. So we're making Halloween yeah. crack. And we're going to use some... Uh, semi-sweet chocolate, there's toffee, there's crackers, and there's a bunch of different candy we're going to use all over the top of it to make it look very festive for Halloween. So that's coming up on our regular Tuesday live stream, which is always 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. So you don't need to wait for a notification for that show because we are very regular about our <laughs> Tuesday show. We've been doing Tuesday at 3 every week for over a year now and we have no plans to discontinue that time frame because it seems to really work really well not only for us but our housemates who very generously allow us to monopolize the kitchen all afternoon so we can make those live streams happen and we also get lots of nice participation in the chat and lots of our viewers so we really appreciate that so there you have it this is all of our lovely halloween candy and we will be showing you what we're going to do with this the, a week from Tuesday, which I believe is October 25th. Okay. Next, this Tuesday is the 18, 18th. You add yeah, seven, that's that. 25. So on October 25th, Tuesday at 3 Pacific, 6 Eastern, we will have all this candy on the set. And we will be putting together a candy board where we display all of this candy and some of our cute little goodies that we got to go with the candy and show you how to put together a very easy candy board that was perfect whether you're having an event for adults or kids or a mixture of all ages because who doesn't want to eat M&Ms? I know I sure do. Okay, everyone, that's it for our live tonight. We really appreciate you joining us for this special Sunday night live stream. And since we've had such lovely response, we may have to think about doing these Sunday night live streams <laughs> more often. So. From San Francisco, California, I'm Mitch. I'm Bella. This is the Mitch and Philip channel. Woot, 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 woot. Okay, thanks for joining us for our Halloween candy haul tonight. Let's put that baby right there. We're going to call in the night. We really enjoyed having you all here, and we appreciate your kind comments in the chat and your support for watching our show. So we'll be back on Tuesday. That's 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, and we'll show you how to make the Halloween crack. It's really yummy. I can't wait to have more because we already ate the batch we made photograph for the beauty shots so we'll have some more coming up on tuesday all right everyone sleep nice sleep well Take care. have a good night and we'll see you on tuesday bye thanks again for joining us Mwah. love to all <laughs>